we both really liked the Ravens this year. And yeah. now J.K. Dobbins has torn his ACL in a preseason game against Washington. Looking at the running back room, they got Gus Edwards, they got Justice Hill, and Justice Hill is questionable. All three of their All starting the wide receivers are questionable right now. Their offense has got some issues. And I don't know what to make of this team without J.K. Dobbins. Like, I, I, I know that that's a lot to put on a running back, but right. the way that the offense is structured, I felt really good about him when it was him with Gus as the backup. I don't know how I feel about him if Gus is the every-down guy. How, how do you feel about this? I, I kind of agree. Okay. I kind of agree. I, was, I thought it was strange that losing a running back changes my opinion on the offense, but it was, A, a running back that could run the ball and catch the ball, and I thought that's where most of your points are coming from because the wide receiving core is not good. And so this team is going to throw the ball to its running backs and it's going to throw the ball to its tight ends. And I think they have a tight end that's great. And I think they have a running back that's great. But if you take one of those away, man. Yeah. Well, and, man, and now, of course, you, Hollywood Brown, questionable, like it, having, having injury issues. You've got Bateman's uh, questionable. Uh, Bateman, yeah, questionable, groin injury, all that kind of stuff. Like who knows how long that'll take to actually fully heal. And if he doesn't sit out, like it could take even longer. And then, of course, like Sammy Watkins, he's not like – the best wide receiver in the world, but he is a veteran and he is somebody that can help your locker room. That's somebody that can help your, your receiver core. Like they upgraded, but now they're all hurt. They're all hurt. And if you don't have those guys operating at a hundred percent and now you've got JK Dobbins out, I don't know what to make of the Ravens anymore. Now I do think that if we get into a world where week three, all three of those receivers are back, I think this team is going to look different because they're not going to be so run centric the way they always have been. I think they could spread the ball out and I think they could throw the shit out of it. If you can get all three of those guys and keep Mark Andrews happy. And I think there the run game is going to come from Lamar and yeah. which is where I actually think this team wants to be, by the way. Yeah. That's, uh, it's a scary why, thing. Well, in the NFL. Gotten the big wide receiver and the small, fast, skinny wide receiver <laughs> and the big, badass tight end. Like this is why they've built the way they've built it is they want options at all three levels of the passing game because that brings defenders farther away from R. And then if he chooses to run, they got the guys that are actually going to tackle him are a lot farther. They got a long way to go. Yes. And you're trying to tackle somebody head on uh, because nobody's catching him from behind. No, no, you're right um, about that. Like he has more so, open so I, lanes to be able to do that. And, and I if think they that's don't have how them, this offense wants to go. Right now, it looks like doom and gloom because I kind of thought the band aid was going to be heavy dose of Lamar, heavy dose of Dobbins, heavy dose of Mark Andrews for a couple of games until these young guys, these other receivers, get healthy and acclimated back into the offense and everything like that. And then by week four or five, we're fine. Man, until those receivers get there, this could be some ugly. Fo- now, yeah. I trust John Harbaugh, right? And I trust the Ra- Ravens defense. I think we're going to watch. And we're going to judge Lamar Jackson for this, okay? Lamar Jackson's going to be judged poorly for this. I think their first four or five games are going to be ugly. Well, uh, we're, here's, here's we're talking what they got. nine to six ball games oh, yeah. and that, they, are, that are going to be tough to watch. They've got the schedule for it, right? At Vegas, yep. at uh, Kansas City. No, sorry, oh. Kansas City coming to their place. I was about to say, coming, um, coming to them. That'll be the lowest point score Kansas City scores all year. Hear me now, week two. Probably so, but along with that, the next two games after that, at Detroit, at Denver. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we may see, you know, six, three ball games. No, I'm like, telling you. Now, those, yeah, obviously, when Kansas City comes, games. we're not getting six, three. No. But uh, those other two, and, and hell, maybe even that first one, this defense is going – they're going to have to play a control the clock, control the line of scrimmage. We're going to be Army for a couple of weeks, and we're just going to let the other quarterback sit over there. And if you fall down in bounds, you get bonuses. And if you go out of bounds, you get – you know, we're fining you. And this is just how we're going to do this. We're going to keep this clock ticking every second of this football game until we get into field goal range, let Tucker slap it in, and then we get out of this bastard. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you this. I've heard reports that say Tucker feels if Tucker has told Harbaugh multiple times, I can make a 70 yarder regularly. You've got to let me try them. You've got to let me try them. If he can make 70 yard touchdowns, uh, 70 field, yard goals, field goals, yeah. I, I, 
I think we're going to see him try because I don't think they're getting points many other ways. Uh, obviously, unless Lamar breaks something, which he's capable of doing at any moment in time in the game. He's that dynamic. This is why you want him running the ball 22 times a game. Yes. Because all we need him to do is not get hurt 19 of them and break something three of them, and those three could be 21 points and the ball game is over. Yes. Yes. I tend to agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.